The Romans called it Mare Nostrum, our sea. Always capturing the imagination and encouraging our will to discover. Cradle of Western civilization. Man understood immediately that control over this sea and its natural resources would award them hegemony over the known world. In the early 21st century, many species are in a state of great imbalance due to incessant human pressure, pollution, and overfishing. But this young sea, in geologic terms, is surprisingly fertile, functioning as a global organism made up of millions of living beings closely linked to one another. Animals that range from the mythical colossi to the smallest of invertebrates form a chain in which each link is indispensable for the whole to function properly. The diverse biocenoses are closely linked by the various forms of life that live in its different stratums. Many species, forced by seasonal migrations, cross over its waters or settle temporarily in search of food and mate. Others, who inhabit them, wait for optimal reproductive conditions. Alchemy is produced in its warm waters. The most basic nutrients, gently swayed by the currents, make up the breeding ground for life. beings live together, all cogs in the wheel of the macroorganism that is the Mediterranean Sea, known in ancient times as Mare Nostrum. Mediterranean sea basin was an enormous desert valley with tall mountains forming huge canyons and hypersaline lakes. The Mediterranean we know today was formed a little over five million years ago when the rock dike that had formed in the Strait of Gibraltar collapsed and the Atlantic came roaring in. Creating the largest waterfall in history, what took millennia to become arid filled up again in just a few years. Nowadays, the Strait of Gibraltar is still an indispensable source that maintains the levels of the Mediterranean, since it loses more water to evaporation than the amount that rivers empty into it. Although not only water crosses through the most transited strait on the planet, ancestral inertia, with their warm blood and charged with energy, huge schools of giant bluefin tuna enter the Mediterranean at the beginning of spring to reproduce. During the time of the Romans, 1,000 kilogram specimens could easily be found. Because of this, their meat became the principal source of protein for the legions of empires that have ruled these coasts for thousands of years. After over 3,000 years of fishing, this majestic fish is in grave danger because of international commerce, speculation, and a dismal fishing management system.
However, year after year, thousands of reproductive tuna enter the warm waters of the Mediterranean to unload their genetic heritage under the care of the soft currents. And following them, always in ambush, their worst enemy awaits patiently. Sooner or later, they will all have to swim through this bottleneck. Orcas follow the schools of tuna well into the Mediterranean. They hunt in perfectly coordinated matriarchal groups, communicating through echolocation. Each clan has their own dialect, understandable only by their own members. It is the largest of the family of dolphins, weighing in at over five tons. Highly astute, they learn from their mistakes and apply new strategies to optimize their hunt.